this week's video is a bit of an experiment. Most of my projects require some kind of finishing oil to be applied, and on the tins there's always a warning to dispose of the oily rags carefully, as apparently they can spontaneously combust. So I'd bought myself a metal bin that I filled with water to dispose of them safely. For some time though I've wondered how likely it would be that the oily rags could actually combust. Searching on Google, I found something that said oily rags could combust at around 120 degrees Celsius. Now I've no idea if that's accurate or not, but I thought there's only one way to find out and that's to carry out a little experiment. So basically I filled my metal bin with screwed up oily rags and I didn't add any water. I did this experiment outside in the open just in case to avoid any potential issues later down the line. Now I actually had three attempts at this, and the results were quite a bit surprising. I tried this on a sunny day with no wind, a sunny day with little wind, and another day which was bright outside but fairly cold. On the sunny day with no wind I had high hopes. I drenched everything in oil and added a bit of sawdust for a bit of realism. I left the bin outside in the sunshine all day, but the temperature in the bin stayed fairly low. By the time evening came I gave it up as a bad job, and was questioning whether it was actually true that the rags could combust without a flame. The next day was a little bit windy, and I tried cheating by adding some black material which I thought would might retain the heat more. This did seem to get warmer than before, but nothing interesting happened, and I felt that I potentially wasted a whole day. I was starting to go through a lot of rags and a lot of oil, so I made the decision that the next experiment would be my last, as I felt I could probably put the rags and the oil to better use. The sun was out, but it was cold and it was windy. Conditions outside weren't as good as they were for the other two experiments, so I wasn't really holding any hopes up for this one. I'd put the bucket out about 10 o'clock in the morning, and within 15 minutes it seemed to be getting hotter. My wife was next to me painting the fence panels, and she said that she thought she could smell burning, which seemed strange that it hadn't been out for that long. But within the hour it really started to get warm, and just before midday we'd notice it was smoking ever so slightly. Within a few minutes the temperature shot right up to 130 degrees centigrade. The material which seemed to get the hottest was this old sock and it started giving off quite a bit of smoke. My wife thought she'd seen a very small flicker of a flame, so it was at this point that I poured water into the bin and I put the lid on it for it to cool down. Now I could have just let it ignite at this point, but with the amount of smoke starting to come off and a flicker of a flame and a temperature of over 130 degrees, that was all the proof that I really needed to know, that oily rags really can heat up and combust without a naked flame. But what was surprising was that the conditions outside were less favourable than the previous experiments I'd carried out, and I only had the bin partially loaded compared to the other two attempts I'd made. So my advice to anyone out there using any kind of oils with similar warning labels is to really take the warning serious, as I personally know people who use oils on a regular basis and just throw them in the workshop bin, which as you can see in the video they really can get very hot and in such a very short space of time. I'd say it's definitely something to be wary of. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize rolls open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. 
Thanks once again for your continued support.